Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I am the Niche Fragrance Collector and we have started something new. Recently, George Zaharoff came to Melbourne and in partnership with Oligarch, we created an evening with George Zaharoff in the Oligarch store. Now, this was a ticketed event, meaning that uh, Australians could uh, buy a seat in this virtual uh, session. We were all in the Oligarch store, myself, Kevin and George, and we were zooming this out to all the Aussies. Now, everybody had their own sample set of the five Zahara fragrances. So as we were experiencing them here in Melbourne, everyone across Australia was doing the same thing. It was a cool, fun event. We even had Uber Eats arrive in the middle of it. So without further ado, please enjoy an evening with George Zahara. So they could see us right now? Jump on this. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hey. <laughs> this is cool. This is wild. This is cool. This is cool. So can everybody hear us? Can we get a thumbs up? We all right, all right. So we had a few technical problems. You know, we are, this is inaugural. This is our first time doing this. And so it was, uh, we had two hours to sit up and I, I was sweating. I didn't tell you, man. <laughs> You're like, oh, everything's good. I'm like, yeah, everything's fine. You know, I'm like, Brrr. and then George comes in. And are he's we, like, you guys are, good? Are we too dark? Can everyone no, see no, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, I think it'll just be the screen. That's the start. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so welcome. This Hello. Is, this is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. So I want to welcome everybody. This is the first time that NFC, the uh, Niche Fragrance Collector, is doing something like this. We're uh, inviting everyone to be a part of this experience. Uh, we are, well, I am personally grateful for Oligarch for allowing this to all happen. Um, so it's my pleasure. First time uh, I think anything like this has been done with a founder, um, with you, with a store as well. So it's, it's a pretty big uh, project for us too. And we want to welcome you. Yeah, thank you very welcome much. Welcome to Australia. This is so awesome. <laughs> it's, it's surreal. It's really, this is... Uh... Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now we can see you. What we're going to do today, so I'm going to put it here. And I can see everyone's dressed up. Look at this. Yeah, it's a beautiful group of people too. You guys look awesome. We've been slave driving this poor man all day today. But you've enjoyed it, right? I've had a, great, a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. So we ordered, I, we ordered some food and you're like, of all times now for him to eat at a live, but... Uh, We've got Uber Eats on our it's, way. It's going to be 9, 30, 10 o'clock and the restaurants are going to be closed. I'm going to just get a couple yeah. chicken McNuggets from McDonald's and we're good to go. All right, why don't we kick off? And we thought the, the driver of this bus is Mr. George Zaharoff. Um, we're just going to, well, oligarch, obviously, yeah. this, is, this is your, your show when it comes to... This is my to, home. This is my place. I just need nice, to yeah. enjoy the perfume. So Zaharoff started yeah. when, uh, probably when I was... Uh, in kindergarten, my, yeah, yeah, my mother was a fashion designer. Uh -huh. And so I grew up in the bolts of fabrics. Yeah. And, uh, and, and as a child, I wanted to be a fashion designer. But little boys don't, at that time, don't become fashion designers. And I remember being, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up, George? And I said, I want to be a fashion designer. Like, oh, no. You know, you want to be a fireman, a policeman. And, uh, and so that's the earliest memories of, of, of wanting to do what I'm doing now. And mm. so um, I went to DePaul University. I majored in operations management. And apart from just the design aspect of it, I, I've always been fascinated by the movement of goods and services and people and money. And it, it, it gets me excited. And so uh, there's, there's, there's a few artistic uh, things that someone could go into for that and it's music uh, fashion and uh, fragrance but uh, i went into on the fashion side and went to milan italy so i started i took over my junior year of depaul university and started showing in milan uh right after that and i was like 21 when wow. i had started this yeah um and it, at that time it was women's apparel yeah. and uh i fell flat on my face i had thrust myself into this arena too fast on this huge stage uh an international stage and it it needed a lot more effort than than i thought i could do especially when you're 21 years old and you think that you know that you could conquer the world and 
just by being Superman. So, but at that time I had cultivated relationships with the fashion director of Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom. I'm still in Europe and I developed this clay model with a wood cap and a spray. And I, and I called up Nordstrom and I go, I'd like to come see you. Okay, so I go there uh, and in Seattle, I go, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, this is my concept and they bought it. You're 21. I'm 21 years old, right. and so, um, which was like, I remember getting in the car after that to go back to a taxi or whatever it was when I was going to the hotel, and I'm like, I think this is, I think this is going to change my life. That was pretty ballsy. Yeah, it was. So I showed the executive the frag, the, 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 the clay, the, all that, the clay, the wood cap, the thing, and he put me in touch with, he goes, you need to talk to the buyers of fra at the fragrance. So I called the division head of Nordstrom and I said, hi, my name is George Zaharoff. I spoke to, at that time, Bob Middlemass and he told me to come talk to you and show you this. Didn't respond. So I call again and I go, hi, this is George, blah, blah. And finally I said, uh, the third time I call and I go, I'm going to be in Seattle on Monday at noon and I will see you then. Uh -huh. I mean, that was like, I mean. Who does that? And so, uh, I got a call back saying, no, 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 don't come at noon, come at one and we'll see you. And so I've always been that kind of personality of making things happen for myself. So we went from, you know, five, one Nordstrom door to five to 10 to 30 to the whole chain to Neiman Marcus to Bergdorf Goodman and built quite a bit of business over the entire 90s, all of the 90s. In 99, uh, we came up with the first poor om, Zaharov poor om. Right that you might see on eBay floating around or if you see the original Zaharoff men's. And we launched that and Escada came and said, we wanna take over the distribution of Zaharoff and we'll open 120 markets worldwide. And so at that time I was 29 and I thought to myself, you know, I'll take the, the royalties from that fragrance because it was, uh, it, it, w it ended up be being very, very large number a year. And I will open stores, I'll do this, I'll do my fashion, you know, that kind of stuff. And so uh, it took a year to go back and forth, negotiations, you know, f the flying to Germany, all this other stuff, getting the documents together. And they said, be in New York on Tuesday to sign it. And so that weekend, my dad goes, are you excited? Why aren't you excited? And I go, Dad, I just want to sign it and have it all done, and then I'll be excited. And uh, the Tuesday I wake up to get ready, and the phone rings, and at that time we had caller ID, and it was my sister in Los Angeles. And I'm like, wow, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning there. What's going on? And I pick up the phone, and my sister's like, turn on the TV. And I saw the planes uh, crashing into the World Trade Center, which then – canceled my contract yeah. with oh, Escada yeah. Yeah. because Escada went into financial difficulties as well. And so by the end of uh, 2001, we had completely got rid of all the fragrances. I had to close it up. And so the men's never saw the light. The, the men's only was on the market for a year and it was, it was not full distribution. Mm -hmm. And so it, was something dear to me uh, and it was very hard because I was wanting to bring back and revive the, fra the men's fragrance particularly because it was just, well, you guys see what you have now. I mean, it's not the same fragrance, but it's the same. If you could get an idea, it's the, the same feel. And, uh, and I would sit in bed and I would, and I, I'm doing my, I'm doing fashion. I'm doing, you know, men's tailor clothing with Nordstrom. We're, I'm still, you know, we're still doing stuff. But for some reason I couldn't, the timing was not right. But I would sit in bed and says, oh, but if I were able to do this again, I'm going to sign every postcard. You know, I'm going to make sure that they know how grateful I am. You know, just little things that you have in your head. So what you see now is things that I had thought about right. for almost for two years. decades. Yeah, yeah. 
the Zahara of Por Om and the, and, the, and the Por Femme, the women's, was made by a, 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 a perfume house in France called Quest. Claude Deere was the original per perfumer. Yeah. And we have, I, I don't know what it is, it's like a soulmate. Like, yeah, okay. we're like left brain, right brain. I mean, you see the beautiful, the, the, like all the fragrances are so beautiful. And you need to have a meeting of the minds in order to have that kind of spark happen. Yeah. And so um, I couldn't find him. And I had gone back to Givadon. We did this to, to, to about 2017, 2016, and I said, okay, I need to, we need to sit down. I go, can you, and I gave them the old men's fragrance. I go, I really need you to get as close as this possible, and they couldn't. And so I go, where's Claude? We don't know. He, he was master perfumer, and he retired. So um, I remember them saying to me that we can't do it, Givadon, and I got emotional. I was like, like, yeah, I started crying, and my and and my mother's like, "What's going on with you, man?" And I go, "Because I can't believe this. Finally, the issue was finding the 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 budget to do all of this because you need quite a bit of money to do it the way I wanted to do it, and yeah. then now to have it, and then to say, okay, we don't have it, we don't can't do the juice, and I think that." Um, I told myself I was mourning. I'm gonna get to the. I'm gonna get to the. I'm gonna get to the fragrances. I promise. So, I I was mourning something that had died long ago, right. and and when I came to that conclusion, I was at LaGuardia Airport and I'm talking to my friend in Fort Lauderdale, uh, Daytona Beach. Her husband's a, a policeman, far removed from anything to do with my life, with yeah. fashion, and, and I go, you know, I'm really upset. I can't find the chief perfumer. And she goes, what's his name? And I'm thinking, yeah, right, okay, you know. So I said, it's Claude Dare. He goes, stay right there. Stay right there. Hang up the phone. Oh, stay right there. He's going to call you. And I'm like, what, what's going on? He goes, my, my best friend is best friends with Claude. And within five minutes, the phone, and I had him on the phone talking to him while getting on a flight to uh, Chicago. And he picks certain um, projects. And he has done all these fragrances for me in retirement. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy. And so... The first rendition that came was the was the signature Pour Homme. Yeah. I wanted a retro futuristic. I wanted a nod to the old Zaharoff yeah. and to the new one because right. this I felt was a new beginning right. of moving forward, and that's how we came up with the initial Zaharoff signature Pour Homme. Yeah. And that one bottle. That one child of mine, if you would have told me three years ago that you would see a whole collection, and each one is as beautiful as the other. It's incredible, and I'm in Australia, you know, uh, down under, and, 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 and doing He's Aussie this. Now. He's Aussie. So it was, it's pretty awesome. It's well, great. Sorry, what do we smell? Um, but yeah, let's grab the first one. Um, talk us through how you went about kind of. Um, did you, were you solely responsible for choosing every note in there? Um, so what I had done is I had, and I chronicled it, I took a film, a per, a film uh, guy with me yeah. and uh, traveled the world to find the ingredients. I love, the, I love, I love that series. Check it out on George's uh, website. Because I don't know what I would, I'm the type of person that um, the universe is my co-pilot. Mm -hmm. And so the universe is there to help facilitate and manifest, mm, you know, clear. things. Yeah. And I actually have faith in that. So I thought I'm going to go out there, I'm going to find the oils and I'm going to, and the universe is going to find a way to bring it all together to make it happen. And this is that, and that's exactly what happened. I know it sounds hokey, but there's no other way to describe I, it. I don't think it's hokey. I, I actually think that you the know? universe is definitely guiding us. And in your case, I mean, what about this Claude Deer, your best, your, your neighbor's It's friend? crazy. I mean, what are the odds? Like what are the odds? Seven billion people. It's, it's like a movie. Yeah. 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 So in, does everyone have their, have their signature? Yeah, they do. So everyone out there, um, so George can watch this. Yeah. Um, everyone out there, if you want to go ahead and, and spray your, uh, your sample, yep. George, you're more than welcome. They've all got a, 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 um, a sheet. They'll have this also. Yeah. And you know what? When it came time for doing the poor Om, um, Zaharoff is... Uh, mysterious mm. and the, my background is orthodox and the the um, the meditative oils that people use to go into a meditative state and so 
this is what this is. I agree. My background is orthodox, but I probably more or less am a, like a practicing Jew, Buddhist, right? right? And so, um, and so th these are oils that people use to meditate and to connect themselves to something higher, and that's what the, the whole line is that. Yeah. And people tell me that they, they wear this before going to bed or if they're stressed or even some, someone in college said that they take it before their exams. Mm. Uh, Matt I, Hand, Matt does it. Georgia Jen said that. I find this calming. Yeah. So this fragrance is, is an equal parts masculine, so there's a nice masculine fresh right. component to it, but there's a grounding component also. It yeah. really is. I mean, I don't know whether it's the lavender or the woods near the end. I think what this is is there's a trifecta that I did. It was uh, the sandalwood, the myrrh, Right. Uh, the oud, yeah. but uh, the set of the, those three were the ones that basically were were the ones that uh, that yeah. that really has has this, the star of this it. first one that you made. It's it's so far the only one that comes in a sixty and a one twenty mil. Right, yeah. Walk us through how come you decided to make the one twenty size for for the classic one. The risks when you know launching a fragrance, it's huge, mm. and I think quite honestly, that when I created Noir and Royale, I was, um, I was nervous of, you know, oh my, what if, what if, what if this, what if that. Like the reception that yeah. you get? Okay, right. yes, yes. And so I stuck with the smaller bottles. Right, yeah. right. And, and, and it's, uh, I wanted this to be affordable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought that when the, when the, I, I call them flankers, but they're not, they're not really flankers, but you know, they're an offshoot of signature and I wanted to keep it around the $150 range yeah. instead of having the, the larger size uh, at $250. Yeah. Sometimes people think, oh, if it costs more, it's, it's more, it's, right. a, it's a better product. But I, I really think that you over deliver on the value of, the, of what you're doing. You know? And I've actually, I've, I've done a few uh, um, uh, uh, segments on Zaharoff, and I've had a few comments come through where people are saying that you actually definitely, you undercharge for what you should, for what these products should be. I mean, these are good fragrances. This is, this is, this could compete. This is the, it's a, a premium product. There's Absolutely. not, there's, the, there's no oils that I could get that are higher or better than what are in here. Right. Um, the thing is, is that Zaharoff, even with my clothing, all the things that I've done, I've always been entry level luxury. So I, I gave luxury, but at a, at a price point where um, people that it's can't use it. Yeah, that, people they, that, they, that they, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I always invite anyone who is new to niche, I always invite them to check out your Zaharoff range first. Thanks. There's a good collection in there that they can go. I mean, we'll talk about the rest in a few seconds. Um, but the actual signature forearm is a perfect place to commence yep. because, and, and today I had an opportunity to test a few, we did some layering um, and the signature forearm, just the way that that signature yep. scent went through all the others, it was quite unique. Do the, anyone want to ask any questions on signature all before right, let, we let me move have a on? Quick look. So I'll we, take that. Thank you. We will have a look at. Thank you. Thank you. And Uber Eats has arrived. <laughs> we are being sponsored by Uber Eats. No, we're not. By McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got, um, uh, Jelna said, tiny dancer in my head. I'm not sure. Jelna, put some more comments to that. I'd love to hear what that means. Um, Nelson is saying he's wearing Paul Arm today. Uh, had to be done. Such an amazing fragrance. And Frost says, that suits your fashion sense tonight, Nelson. Oh, okay, so they're uh, talking amongst cool. themselves. That's cool. Okay. Wait, don't and, worry about us. We'll just... Uh, we'll, we'll. <laughs> and also, and also the, um, the dancing in the head is, the, is the, little, the little child in my head saying we need to do the uh, fragrance is what he had uh, meant right. with that. Uh, yeah. uh, gentlemen, thank you, gentlemen. I'm the type of person that will look for feedback oh. and then, of course, you know, make adjustments. Right. And peop there were some individuals, and I allowed them to get into my head, um, that said that the lavender blast, uh, they they weren't happy about it, and so I took the la I took the herbaceous notes out, and then I created Noir. Noir is in all the bottles because I took the herbaceous notes out and I took Noir you and stripped it down. I stripped it down. Yes. The Noir. I want to know what kind of a gentleman did you have in mind when you were creating this fragrance? I usually create for the man that's out there living his life, traveling, being his own boss, you know, and, and um, taking control of his life. Noir, um, so the way I did it was signature is for the CEO, 
Yes. Right? No War is for the executive. Right. And uh, Royale is for the weekend. But, uh -huh. but Noir is also a younger fragrance, and I wanted it, I know, guys, I can't believe I'm going to say this, so I wanted, I wanted it to wear, you're at a bar, and it's, it's loud, and you meet somebody, and they're whispering and trying to talk to you in your ear, and Noir is saying, take me home tonight. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and so yeah, that's yeah. kind of where I came up with that. Yeah. So, yeah. I, listen... So half is a is a celebration of life, right. yeah. and a, and a big part of our lives is is uh, we're not born spirits or ghosts. I mean, we're born in the physical, right? right. And right. so part of that is enjoying sharing yourself and in yeah. do, doing things in the physical. And so that's noir, but Royale, Royale was the was the, the royal X is what Royale was supposed to be. Mm. And Royal X is a man, uh, uh, it was a celebration of a man's sexuality. So if you imagine taking a shower and feeling fresh and then getting frisky with somebody or by yourself, I mean, I don't know, whatever floats anyone's boats, and that, that muskiness, right. and they, they don't, we did, they didn't sample the X, right? Well, we're going to talk about that in yeah. a minute. And so, and so that muskiness, but the, my, my, the finance, there was the people that, that are around me that with Zaharoff, and they're like, George, this is scandalous. It's the Me Too movement. You know, all this stuff, and you're, and you're, you're making a fragrance about sex. Uh, you can't do it. And I switched it out for the, what was supposed to be Zaharoff signature Santal, the sandalwood. Right. And so Royal X is a sandalwood uh, fragrance. I took Noir and increased the sandalwood and added a little bit of musk. And that's what is in Royale. So we have got yes. now signature Noir Royale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the sandalwood is from Australia. Australia. Mm -hmm. So I have Pour Homme okay. and, and Noir is my next one that I normally yep. use. I find that Noir, like George was saying, yeah. Very herbaceous at the start. It's yep. got a really beautiful, fresh, aromatic opening. At, at one stage, I thought, oh, if I've got poor arm, I don't need noir because it dries down the same. But then, but then, as I started to explore them, they're two separate fragrances. They have a similar... They're two but, different experiences. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I find that noir is a lot more aromatic. Is it, it, I found that it's a little bit more masculine. Too. Right. And people say, well, why'd you call it noir? Well, because it's more woody. Right. You know, people are like, it's mm. not as dark. Why would it be called Noir? But I call it Noir because for me, it was a woody fragrance. It was darker, uh, more resinous. Yeah. And you could put Noir as a base on any of the... Fra you could put Noir as a base right. and add any other fragrance in the collection that would just magnify it even more. Mm. And that's what I do. Actually, yeah. I just slather. I do the lotion and the... Yeah. For me, Noir actually doesn't mean dark. Personally, for me, Noir means intense. Right. right. And I think... That the noir is a more kind of a intenser it's, version. It's masculine. Yes. I, in a minute, I want to talk about Royale. Royale, yep. I didn't really enjoy from the beginning. Yep. Um, I know that that's that's. But more I want to style. talk about that yeah, too okay. because this man jumped in my car recently. Yeah. And it smelled awesome. Ah, yeah. come on. And he's he's the Royale guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, I've never used Zoom before, so I didn't know this. But when you swipe, you see the rest of the crowd. Oh! Everybody's there. We didn't see everyone. Oh, oh my God. Hi, everybody. Yeah, there's a bunch of people there. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we got Mark. Hi, Mark. Max. Um, Nathan. Kerry. Yelena. Cool. That's so cool. Sean. Nick. Thank you so much. Nathan. Oh. And I love that you guys have dressed up. Yeah. Right? Comments, comments. There was uh, a comment that I, uh, that I had just right. had to read out. It's yeah. um, Niket says, Oh my God, Noir is heaven. Um, Yelena, say, Yelena says, I love Noir, wearing it today. Um, she says, perfect for a lady as well. So she's, she's got it as well. Um, Madison says, my husband has fallen in love with Noir. Such a sexy fragrance. It is, absolutely. So, so, yeah, absolutely. Thank you um, very much. And, and Max, who's just jumped online, says, Marcella will be proud. I'm black tie on top, <laughs> button down low. I've left lots of skin for testing. Noir on my left knee. 
Use the legs. So he must be wearing shorts. As well. Use the legs. I mean, when you run out of real estate on your arms, and I've always, you know, when Kevin and I do these sort of works, yeah. uh, a card is a nice indication, but on skin, it yeah. mixes in with your pheromones, your own chemistry, and yeah. it becomes something divine. Sean's, Sean's just said, I love the opening notes of Royale. Love the apple and the citrus blend. Yeah. Absolutely. So how about we grab that? Yeah, let's do that. The Zaharoff man is, is a very masculine man. He is. And the Zaharf woman is a very feminine woman. Right. And, and I love both of them. Right. <clears throat> um, you would think that, I mean, when you look at me, I'm not like the epit epitome of masculinity, uh, but I think for the man that, I, but it, the fragrances aren't for me, it's for the, the person wearing it. And I was going to say that right? it's almost like it's a celebration of masculinity. That's right. Uh, the, that's what I get from your fragrances, you know? So yeah. you're making the fragrances for, the, for us, for right. men, you know? That's right. Um, and so I think, I mean, I, I feel that from your fragrances. Right. That they, they all have a different, oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, they all have a different, um, and it's all a different man, too. The, yeah. What, it's so, creamy. Yeah. You could so smell this it. This one here, what yeah. I had is that that Tell me. fruity open. Yeah. What was the thing that that, that hit open. you and you're like, the okay, fruity open. because you don't kind of like fruity uh, well, scents. Well, uh, right? so on card, I'm not getting the same. It's a bit creamier and muskier on, on the card skin, than on the skin. Me, yeah. It was. It was. It was really. Was it does sweet? It, does fruit it have apple? What's what's that? What's that? It has that? apple. It does. Yeah. So I think it was the apple that was yeah. just throwing me off a bit. Yeah. Yeah. However, however, I've. I'm getting used to Royale. Mm. Kevin jumped in the car the other day. We went into town. And as soon as he sat down, because I know that he's the Royale guy, <laughs> he came in and this, this beautiful sillage just enveloped. And I'm like, my man, you smell yeah. great. You know? and, and he's like, it's Royale. Yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, sunny day scent. So it's funny because you guys would know, but we're in Melbourne. So there isn't really a four seasons. It's four seasons in a day. So whenever I see it's a sunny day, no matter if it's December or if it's June, July, this is what I wear. Bright, sunny. Um, yeah, it's just great everyday It's a good scent. fragrance. Yeah. Even after you left, yeah, yeah, yeah. the sillage in the car, kind of stays it safe. was still there. <laughs> I walk in, I'm like, oh my gosh, Royale yeah. just does not want to, you know, like, love me, it's saying. I'm getting this some really cool comments. Yeah. Uh, so if I can just take a small moment to, to read some of these comments. Um, uh, so Sean, I love the opening of, uh, we're at the, sorry, Jelna. Uh, Jelena, sorry, Jelena. Uh, Nelson, very passionate woman. Frost says, George, your perfume DNA runs through all scents so far. Yep. Yep. Uh, Madison, to everyone, I love that Max, uh, you're a true fan. Royale is so smooth. I really love this one. Kerry says, spraying on the legs helps with yoga poses because you have to get down and smell it. Which is true. <laughs> I mean, you're doing two things at once, you know? My kind of, my kind uh, of person. Frost uh, says, how can you not love Royale? I know, I apologize. Um, Nathan says, Royale was a grower on me too. I, thank you. Uh, Vicky says, George, you are a master in creation. I am proud to be here today from a fellow Greek. Yes, how do you say that? Yasu. Yasu, of course. Yasu. Means hello. Of course. Yeah. The, and the, I speak yeah. fluent Greek, by the way. Milao Elinika, so... Uh, one thing I wanted to add, one more thing, is I said about a feminine woman. What I meant is I love, I love looking at a, physically at a... At a woman. Yeah. Yeah. I love the curves and everything. I love it. And so... A woman is beautiful. Is very beautiful. And, but it doesn't necessarily mean dainty and delicate. Um, my Zaharoff woman is... Is... is Powerful. Um, Yes, I, I want to say like fucking like, like tough, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, it's, it's like yeah. with mommy dearest when she sits in the boardroom at Pepsi and she goes, don't fuck with me fellas. So it's kind of like that kind of woman, you know, it ain't my first time at the rodeo. And so that's kind of what, uh, and that's why a lot of these fragrances are also good on women. But it's funny because the, a woman's uh, skin, the way the body, it gives off. A little differently. I agree. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> you know, I, I also see, as you were explaining, I'm thinking of Jennifer Lopez. Those who have seen Out of Sight, the movie with George Clooney. Jennifer Lopez is equal part woman sexy to 
just do not mess with you. Yeah. Right. And, and she is strong and powerful. And I think this is the this is your Zahara yeah. woman. You know? yeah. Yeah. She it doesn't was, swear though. No. <laughs> If we can jump sometimes, to sometimes, sometimes. if we can jump to the next one, All which right. I think many well many women in the store have been purchasing, yep. it's actually the Zaharoff Rosé. Awesome, bro. Let's go to that one. So and like, while we look, watch the B roll, why don't you guys fill up your glasses? We're having a good night. Um, tell us how you came about with the idea to bring a rose fragrance in your collection. I was in uh, in Greece, in Athens, and there's a certain type of of incense, rose incense that comes from the northern part. My, my, Greek, uh, my, my Greek co-patriot here will tell you. There's a, a place in northern Greece called, it's the Three Fingers up in north, the Three Fingers on the, uh, that's up at the border. You know how Greece comes around and it has those three fingers and then it goes to Turkey, um, called Mount Athos. And it is a monastery where men, women are not allowed. So it's all monks and, and priests and stuff. Uh, and so, they take a Bulgarian rose, uh, a, a Turkish rose. This is off uh, next level. Yeah, yeah. Turkish rose and um, a jasmine. Mm -hmm. So we added it to the Noir, and it's so something. it's a rose athenite. And it's like, and if you go A T H O N I T E, and it's at literally a type of rose incense from Mount Athos. Mm. And that's exactly what this is. This for me is my favorite rose fragrance I've Absolutely. ever, Absolutely. ever worn. Absolutely. I think a lot of uh, maybe guys, young guys like me, don't want to wear like a sweet, rosy floral. Mm. Perhaps we just feel it's a bit too feminine. Um, it's things that like my girlfriend wears. But this, something about this rose, that incense gives you that, that strong smokiness. Gives you that three dimension yes. to it. And, and what I've done is because I mix the Noir and the Rosé rose together, yeah. um, I was talking to Claude, and so we're going to be doing a uh, blush, like a Noir blush. So it's going to be the Rosé, but a darker, a darker background. Right. Mm. So how, how will you get it to that darker element and using more woodies? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's good, more more of the more of the Noir. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take uh, I wanted to take a fifty percent of the actual oil of Noir and the fifty percent of the actual Rosé, combine it and then macerate it, but then. It doesn't work that way. Like oh, okay. it, 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 it will re, it will not. It affects the um, optimization and the experience of the of the wearer. Yeah. So we're working on that right now. And so that's that's how. And and as you see, I'm obsessed with this, mm -hmm. and I just love it. So yeah. so is my editor. It's every absolutely time I beautiful. Walk into the office, <laughs> is it yeah. beautiful? Every time yeah. I walk in the office, I'm like, oh, rosé. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let me read some comments. Sure. Can I okay. do that? I want to read this one here from. Uh, Jelena, I want that man's crotch fragrance. Mm. So freight Royal X, you know, so al already this this hot hot request from the girls. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, Kerry says everybody wants to smell extra with an X sexy, which I agree. Um, Frost said you were forgiven, George. Um, Vicky said, OK, so now we're talking about rosé. So let's, let's go into this one, Mount Athos. Uh, so Andy says, signature rosé, my very, my first ever niche fragrance purchase. I didn't think I was a rose guy, but Zaharoff Rose or rosé is on another level. No regrets. I agree. We all agree. We all agree. Yep. Uh, Frost says, it's so good. Completely agree. Nathan says, is rosé limited? No. The answer is no good. I'm going through my bottle really quickly. Yeah. Rest assured, my friend, there are more. Me too. Uh, Jelena says, Rose is a beautiful rose and an incense perfume. Completely, we completely agree. Signature Rose, Heavenly from Carolina. Darren says, I purchased Signature Rose for the wife and it absolutely shines on her. I love it. And I wanted to point that out too. I agree. It, it's not a heavy fragrance. It's, it lasts long. Yep. It, it's, a, it's just phenomenal. And when, the, when it gets off the skin, it's just beautiful. Yeah. It has a beautiful mm -hmm. bloom, mm -hmm. nice sillage. But it works beautiful on a man. It's it has an, a masculine element, but also works beautiful on a woman. On a woman, yes. Yeah, it's a true it's a true yeah. unisex. And I, you had mentioned about the bottle, by the way, the bottle, the cap, everything that you see um, is all I do it. It's all me. Oh yeah. And so, 
And now looking at the collection from far away, you could tell that it has been created by the same yeah, hand, absolutely. right? But, but it wasn't planned out to be that way. And right. so, so anyway, thank you. The rosé, yeah. yeah. I'm obsessed with the rosé. And so I get too, too ahead yeah. of myself. I'm excited. So yes. <laughs> I wanted to jump to uh, just one of the comments that was made before. Oh, yes, Somebody yes, asking, yes. is it part of your permanent collection? Yes, it no. is. I think some people get um, perhaps confused because you had a huge collaboration that I just wanted to quickly touch on. So what the reason was for the Z creators is because I really feel that this is the future of fragrance. Um, I think that the, the days of um, the brick and mortar department store, yeah. I think you're going to have these perfumeries mm. and then online. Yeah. Um, and for many years, people thought the industry looked at the space and says, who's going to buy fragrance online? But Kim Kardashian, when Kim Kardashian launched those fragrances that she just sold out of tens of millions of dollars, it was it like it cracked the universe. It was it was a mindset that just shifted right. because of that, right. I think. Right. Um, that people are now buying online. And I think that this is the future. And when I looked at the content creators, I go, you know what, why don't we do a limited run, a beginning and an end? It was a fragrance creator experience where it was instead of giving them fish, I taught them how to, how to, how to fish. Right. Yeah. And that's what this is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love using creators. Yeah. yeah, I love the concept. I love what was done there. Yeah. 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 And they made great fragrances. Mm. Um, again, the siren was sold out. Yeah. Just huge hit. globally, it's gone. Um, it's just of a pleasure. Yeah, it don't. It's that's your favorite idea. one I, by Ross. So yeah, Ross yeah. did an amazing job on yeah, that one. Absolutely. Um, and that one we've got, I think, about three bottles left yeah. in the whole country. Yeah. So you guys can still grab that. And a limited edition, gone and gone. And yeah. you still have brass. You have still have brass and soul. Yeah. Right? So, so let's quickly talk about the brass and soul, which we've got about, I think, two bottles left in the whole country. Um, these are these. Are, this is what I'm. I'm looking at your inventory, and yeah. all I can think of is I should take those back with me because th it's gone. Everywhere, yeah, in the in in the whole world, yeah. Um, and I and I these people would anyway, yeah. I'll leave them there's, for your I'll, I'll leave them for yeah. your customers. But my the, I look at this and it was like, oh my god, yeah. I, I I can't believe it. I know that reaction. Can I tell you on our on our Instagram, we have a lot of international followers, so a lot of people from the states. Every two three weeks, I'll get somebody from the states asking me like, can you just you know send sneakily send over a bottle to the states, which. From Australia to the States, it's very hard to send perfume. So we can't do it. But I hope you guys know that that's, this is your last chance to get it. Okay. So we launched that creators. We blew those out. This is the only bottles that are left in the world here. Right. Um, and and when, when, so we, I went ahead and opened up the UK market, uh, South America, um, India. And I didn't realize that you needed much more inventory. I never th in my head thought I would need so much more. And so I wasn't able to, sh I, I stopped, I, clo I told the distributors that they have to wait. Mm. And that's why you're only seeing five and 10 and, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I can't keep up with yeah. it. And I'm, I'm very grateful for it and yeah. I'm grateful for the support. So with Tobac, what I wanted to do with Tobac was I wanted to give an experience. So, uh, so as we're going along now, I'm becoming, a, and you could probably see the, the timeline yeah. that the packaging, everything is starting to change, mm -hmm. being more creative. Mm -hmm. I'm more comfortable in this. And it's more of this, okay, I got this. I get this yeah. now. I yeah. could do this. And so uh, with Tobac, I wanted a 1920s. It reminds me of um, uh, The Great Gatsby and, and a cigar cigarette case. Absolutely. And that's what you see with the, the Tobac. Can, can I also have the box, the, the Tobac box, please? That's one. Yep. I, I look at, yes. And so when you look at this here, um, I don't know if you're able to see the actual, or if you guys, anyone has the tobacco. You could let's, see that it, it looks like up. a cigarette case that you would open up. And, and the type of font, and if you, could, if you really pay attention, if you have your packaging, it all has to flow. The font that's on the box, that's on the, on, the, uh, on the bottle, the spacing. I'm so picky in particular when it comes to giving this this experience of you know a heightened experience so zaharoff is going into tobacco tobacco and spirits right 
And so that's why the Tibet came to life. And it matches. I think I brought it with me. I love. Okay, so now we're going to go live. This is what we're, where we are live. But we've done this before with Kevin. Where all of a sudden we get just some bright idea, <laughs> and we get ex, you know we get excited by something. We're like you know yeah. we're going to go get it. So George, he brought. He's been doing this all day. So the cigars that we created, the oh. uh, Zaharoff, uh, Zaharoff cigars. And that was where tobacco came to play. Yeah. And so we launched, I said, we should launch the cigars with the tobacco fragrance. And so when you look at the, the ring of the cigar ring, after I created that, I thought, you know what? Let, why don't we take that concept and bring it into the tobacco packaging? And that's the ring that you see around the bottle. It's a little delicate because it's a cigar ring that's on the bottle, which was very expensive embossing. Wow. Printing. What? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexy. Stunning. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> Look yeah. at that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. so the, the, a company that actually makes cigar rings did the Zaharoff uh, tobacco right. ring. And on the back of it, it's like a crust, laborare le dure, mm. and it's to work and to play. Mm. And so this is kind of like, you know, um, again, Zaharoff is a celebration of life. Mm. And, 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 and there's a time for seriousness and there's a time for fun. And so that's kind of where that concept mm, came up. Right. And if you see, on one side is the um, tobacco and on the other is uh, sugar. Yeah. And so that's what that is. I yes. always thought that was a bee. That was a Me bee? Too. Like a, it was a bee. A bumblebee? A bumblebee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Like it's butt. <laughs> like it's, just this, this shot of a bumblebee. Yeah. I guess it could... Because I know there's honey in here. There's honey in this fragrance. I, anyway, I'm into well, bees. So well, I, whatever your fantasy right, right. is, Marcelo, you could just, it's... Yeah, yeah. I'm, reading, I'm reading a comment here, and it's quite funny because when I smelt this, I had a really um, rich and creamy base of like a, cho a chocolate note. Right. And, and I had a, a comment just now from Andy, and Andy says, is it just me or does anyone else get a licorice note from tobacco? Right. Yes, and that's the um, that's the liqueur that's in that. But it, it gives it the that chocolate. Kind of, yeah. the, the chocolate note that I sometimes get yeah. is the the woods with the tobacco mixing, and that's and it's that's what I get wow. too. Yeah, it yeah. depends on certain times. I'll smell it. Other yeah. times it'll feel like a maha like a a wood. Uh, you hear a wood note comes out. Yep. And uh, so tobacco is a very magical fragrance too. Yeah. I think, and, and it's authentic. It's a, an authentic tobacco. Right. Yeah. I also find that some tobacco fragrances are almost more designed for a cooler sort of period. Right. I was wearing this in our summer here, um, and we, we were getting some pretty hot, some pretty hot days. Wearing tobacco yeah, and working, and it worked really nice. It, it's a very fresh tobacco, but yes. the tobacco component is in there. Yeah. And you can wear this all year round. Absolutely. But but for me, I uh, this is probably uh, like a uh, like a ten month suit. You know, right, probably okay. August, January, July, August. You, I wouldn't wear this, but I could wear it all year round with right, this. Right. I was wearing, but I was wearing it in our peak yeah. summer, and it was working. It was. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too cloy or too strong in the tobacco. Now, I've just realized we're we're running tight on time. What's the time? Um, we've got 10 more minutes. Now, I don't okay. want to, I don't know, we say... And so eight, what happens, does the, does the pumpkin turn into a, no. a well, carousel? No, well, uh, you know, put in your comments if you want us to, when we've got some new fragrances here. So, yeah, so let's let's do a couple more things here. I'm right. doing it just exclusively for here. So I'm going to tell it. I'll cut this out. And, and For your ears only, guys. And and I just between us. Between family. Boys and girls. So, and that's what you have here. Also, go ahead, there's your comments. That's there's, our... there's, there's just one quick question that, that I do want to read out because um, it is directed to you. Um, we have Kerry asking, are there any oils that you have never used that you're yet to try in your fragrances? So, there's so many oils. I'll get back to that. I'll get back to that. So, that's the citrine, but I want to circle back to X quickly. Okay. So... We launched Rosé, we launched the back. In the meantime, I, I am fixated on X. And I said, you know what, I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. If it's scandalous, if it isn't, whatever it is. And so X turned out, because X is so exceptional, it's 27%. It, it's, it's, 
man would not allow me to go more than that because it becomes it's by law you can't have more of it because of some of the ingredients it becomes what okay i want x i haven't spelled x yet we've you got it, spelled we've got x it. so x is such an erotic naughty fragrance um and, and there's this duality of when you when you initially spray it it's very clean mm. and then it turns it turns into this it's like oh this is oh i like this i like this and then, and then it becomes oh hang on a second <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so it becomes one of those this uh, sounds familiar good. and so this is what this is what a royal x is this yeah. is yeah why don't you tell them about the the design of the actual bottle because there's a there's a triple x kind of yeah cool so thing. The, so so there's a play on it there's the x on the back of it but yeah. when you hold it up uh, uh, did they see it close yeah, up yeah, 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 yeah. you could see through the through the, the sides of the it. sides of it that it's xxx it's 3x <laughs> so when i was developing this um i was first 17 percent mm. and it gave the experience and i'm like okay this is the experience i go you know what um, let's increase the oils. I did, uh, and then I went, it was 19, I did 22, 25, 27. 27 was the highest I could go, mm. and, I, and that's what I kept it at 27. So I, I, there's a reason why I'm saying this. So the original Ro Royal X was supposed to be 18, 19%. It ended up being 27%. Then I called Claude and I go, Claude, I want, I want this to smell like I can't, I can't even, I mean, having a, ma uh, you have, you have like, uh, so imagine me talking to Claude and telling him, I want, I want it to smell like a crotch. I want it to get the, and so, and, and he did it. Where is this going? That's hot. He did it. And, but it was too, Anybody's too, 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 too sick. identical. Too dirty. And so what I'm going to do is I'm doing a three pack. Uh, of travel of the of the X yeah. double X which was and then triple X right. and so I'm gonna do a little because I wanted this to be an olfactory experience I wanted this to be uh, art artistry with this one right. and so I even created the two bars there was supposed to be two black bars on the side yeah. and when you stroked it it would it would Shut warm up. Up. <laughs> and it would have it would it had a, a terms of five different one like faster I, you know what? I hope I hope it's okay to talk this, this is way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to it's, they're yeah. gonna have it's a heart attack saying, oh yeah. my God, what is George yeah. doing? Yeah. But, but I'm curious to see. It was supposed to say yeah, yeah. faster, slower, yeah. spit, swallow, it's quite a lot, actually. Um, yeah. helping hand, mm. solo, mm. Uh, devil angel. And because th there's a dualness to this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and because we come from a puritanical background, you know, we're not supposed to feel this way, but but we're, we're this way. And yeah, so, yeah. and, and this, is, this is to celebrate a person's individual. So it's not, it's not dirty because everyone has this, right? right? And so I'm curious to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just a quick one. So, so we have hit the 8.30 mark. I'm sure Marcelo is going to have the video edited for the YouTube, yep. but just between us, with you guys, if you guys are happy for us to go just a little bit over time, give us a thumbs up, just so we can see. Yeah, we'll, yeah, because we we don't want to. Yeah, we don't yep. want to. We don't want to keep anyone back. Um, so if you guys are happy, cool, awesome. Thank you. We'll, we'll go another fifteen or so minutes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So we have this. So the X we're done with. I'm doing the three pack travel size set of the three, just because the tr the the XXX, the one that was authentic. Um, it would have to be someone who really loves musk, but I think that I think that it's something that people need to experience because it's art. It's it's incredible, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so that's when X. So X uh, was the X. X was supposed to be the original Royale, and so um, I like that you've gone back to it. Right, I'm glad too. And the reason why we didn't do the white bars on the sides because it was 50 US dollars to do that, wow. and it just it. it just took it right out of the that yeah. realm. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and, it be, and I was afraid that it would be too gimmicky. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. I always say that I think that what makes the fragrances a little different is the, is the universe is the, being my co-pilot and mm. then doing their work because right. 
it's just turned out so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Everything is just, you know, one is more beautiful than the other. And I'm so grateful to be here and to have the support that I've had from you guys and from you guys because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. And so I'm just very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. It will, it's, it's awesome to have you with us. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. And, and to have the founder, the creator, the brain trust of all of this and to see, and I think what, I think what we've all tapped into tonight is the, your rhythm, the, the way that you tap in. You keep talking about the universe and how it's directing. So there's a rhythm of you sort of moving through and creating all this right. stuff. And the, the artistry, you know. So yeah. Yeah. I also like the fact that, look, at the end of the day, we all respect that it's a business. You know, it needs to generate money. Right. But I get a different feeling from you, George. I get a... You've done it for the people. Yeah, that's right. There, yeah. there is, there's also, your own heart is in here right. too. You know, you, you, it's not just, yes, of course, you want it to be profitable and be a, a business, but right. it's also your heart. It's your child. It's your, you know what I mean? I, for I, sure. Yeah, I like all yeah. that. Can we Thank have Marcel actually read, read this comment, maybe as a closing? All right, all right. Sean Connell, he says. Well, before I go there... Okay, tell yeah. You guys are awesome. Uh, it's yeah, been so... You. I mean, this is what... When Kevin and I were first conceiving this idea, we, we, we wanted to create this experience where, because Kevin and I always enjoy smelling fragrances and people always like, oh, that sounds really nice. That's, that sounds like a good idea. I wonder what that one smells like. So what we wanted to do is what we're doing right here, right now. And that is that, you know, virtually, we yeah. are all experiencing it collectively. Right. And yeah. I love it. It's this. incredible. I love yeah. this. And they're all chatting, well, through the chat, they're also yeah. able to ask you questions, We're all chat to you as to well. This thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and, and, and perfume is, it, it's, it's an olfactory, it, we perceive it differently. What you're smelling like, one thing that I love about this man, he loves his sweet gourmands. Very different to your stuff. In summer. I'm like, yeah. man, like, I couldn't do the gourmands in summer. But uh, that's what it is. That's what makes us all sort of, you know, yeah. unique. Anyway, yeah. so this is cool. All right, all right, I'll read this from Sean. I have loved tonight very much, George. Thank you. I am only starting my journey into the world of fragrances. This has been super insightful. I wish you safe travels, and I can't wait to get my hands on my first Zahara fragrance. Thanks again. First Zahara. That's awesome. Amazing. Thank you. Frost says, oh, do you want me to keep going, or do you want to share something? No, go ahead. I love okay. it. I love Ross it. Ross says, I have a few tobacco fragrances, but this is amazing. I agree with you. Well, I think a lot of people are just asking, because you've uh, spent time going through the X so much, everybody's wanting to get it. Um, and I think some people have been jumping online to try to buy it now, but on the system, we haven't put it in yet. So it's an install. Uh, as soon as we close, as soon as we close, I'll have to make a call. Make a call. Make a call. And uh, that website, it'll probably go live late tonight, maybe by midnight, if you guys want to buy it. Um, and then tomorrow, if you're, if you're in Melbourne, come in store, hang out, and um, it's going to be... Come and say hello if you are yeah. here. Come and say hi. Nelson, he says, we love you, George. So genuine and down to earth. I'd have to agree. Nelson, 100%. Kerry, most grateful for you sharing this evening with us. And Mark Dixon says, yes, I want X. X. I want X. Thank you. I appreciate everything. Um, I'm very grateful. Yeah. And I'm grateful to be here. And so thank you. Thank you so much. What a great group. I know, awesome, awesome. It's kind of funny. We only had, like, we, I thought it was just the group. The, and then when you're the, coming the first through, group of like I was five, like, oh, six my people. goodness. Uh, I didn't realize there was more pages of people. This is yeah. great. This yeah. is great. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, mate. And thank you. Thank you, brother. Yeah. My, my awesome. Aussie, as, Aussie Z heads. Uh, the Aussie Z heads. That's our new hashtag, yeah. right? For all of us. What were we called? Aussie O's. Z, Z O's. The Z O's, or I like the Z uh, Z Aussies. Z Aussies. Z Aussies, OZ. Okay. Yeah, Done. the Z Aussies. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you.